I'm back with my hello roommate story. So I actually had to get a notebook and write down all my roommates and how many I had. So yeah, I had 22 roommates slash sweet mates. So um, yeah, so I guess where I left off was freshman year but second semester. So if you watch the first semester one, I had a pretty good time, just like the parents kind of messed it up. So my second semester, I moved into a really nice a suite with the two other girls. And the coolest part was like on my floor, one of my like best friends still to this day was just around the corner. So we were like inseparable. And that's probably like a main part of the story too, is like we would always have fun. So let me see what I can remember. So um, I moved in, I got everything all set. I was extremely nervous because it's just going to be a complete different situation because I had my own room and my own bathroom first semester and I was like, I hope I didn't get too comfortable. But if you would like to know too, my background is... I've always lived with my brothers and so they've always either they've always either been like in the same room and then there was like yeah like maybe a few months where I just had my own room but for the most part I've lived with my brothers like always in the same room so I guess that's my experience so I shouldn't be like too used to it but it's never been girls and I like, I've slept over like people's houses and like I slept over with my cousin but not for a long period of time, not for a long periodically time. So, um, basically, so I can't remember like when I actually got there and all that stuff but I, um, I vaguely remember moving in and then when I met my first roommate I was like, wow, this is just the sweetest girl ever um maybe i should change names so we can like so i can, won't get confused okay so we'll call her samantha so the first time i met samantha was just like so sweet and like really quiet okay so sorry i think um it got caught up, cut off it got cut off. okay so i was talking about my roommate samantha let's call her and she was just the sweetest person, really quiet, really reserved, and I don't know, she was just really, really nice. And like, I remember one of the first things we bonded over was like how much we loved Demi Lovato. And we were just like fangirl at all times about like how we were like, Sunny with a chance, and like, I miss everything, I miss like Camp Rock and stuff. And to this day, I still have Camp Rock sheets. If you watch my other videos, you could see them. But, um, anyway, so we just kind of bonded immediately. And then, uh, I don't remember exactly how I, like, met them. All I know is, like, this is what happened when we initially met. So we most likely, like, went to lunch or something. Because that's what we would usually do after. So then my other roommate, when I met her, we also had this, like, crazy bond, too. But, like, she was more... We'll call her Jennifer, so these are like such basic names too, but I always go to them, so we'll say Jennifer, um, or Jenny, yeah, we'll say Jenny. So Jenny, me and her just had this like instant bond too, but like in a different way because she was more like outgoing, whereas I related to Samantha more because she was more like private and I'm kind of like a little bit of both so like you know freaking Jenny was just like crazy like but she was like you know kind of chill like she was willing to do fun stuff and she was really welcoming and just um the craziest part too is that her last name was the same last name as my grandma so like when I saw her name like on the door I was immediately like, okay, this is like meant to be, like, I don't know, we're just gonna be like this. And then the fact that like, 
my other roommate was cool too i was just like okay this is gonna be the best ever so basically we just kept having a good time um what i will say is i would hang out with jenny like every single day i would hang out with samantha kind of like every other day like you know she was really chill though like if she was busy she would just be like no i'm busy you know and then me and jenny like became super inseparable then it became jenny's best friend let's say maddie jenny's best friend maddie um kind of came in the mix and we got introduced and it was really cool and then my best friend let's call her cindy <laughs> Damn, I had to hell of make up names because I don't want to call anybody out, but okay. So Cindy and Maddie kind of joined and we would just kind of hang out like whenever we could, you know? And we just, we had a good time together. Um, most times it would be, it would be Samantha, Jenny, Maddie, and I like going to dinner and stuff. And then like there would be other times it would just be me and cindy since like we already bonded in the first semester of freshman year and i had just met them so we already had like inside jokes and stuff so we would just hang out and we would have our other group of friends too so i guess like so i thought we were all friends i thought it was cool so i guess the man okay so there would always be these like little times where Jenny would get mad at me, Maddie, and Samantha. Like she would just get really annoyed. Uh, for example, we went to Starbucks once and um, Jenny didn't have a wallet. So she had an envelope and it had like money in it. And I guess the Starbucks employee like made some type of joke about her not having a wallet, but it was like a flirty joke like he was playing around with her and she kind of was like no like you know like she just kind of like shut down his joke and just wanted to pay for her drink so me and maddie were like oh you just rejected him like he was so into you and then you rejected him which is kind of like something i always like joke with my friends about i never really like thought it would hurt anyone's feelings and then apparently it would make her really mad because she felt like we were saying something was wrong with her whereas we were saying she was more like in charge like she was more like i don't i don't want to deal with your um flirtatious ways like we were trying to say like you know kind of give her a compliment not throw shade and she just got really mad at us and didn't talk to us for a while so that was probably the first thing that kind of just, you know, the first whole that sunk or shit, I don't know. But from that point, we were kind of a little bit more sensitive about like what she would say. Um, I'm trying to think really hard how to explain this next part because basically, Okay, so I would hang out a lot with Cindy, and Cindy would come into my dorm, and we would talk, and we would just gossip, and we would just, like, be kind of loud, and for me, like, my, I didn't think it was a problem, because Jenny was always part of the conversation, so she was always laughing and screaming, too, so then I guess the thing that Jenny explained to me later that kind of pissed her off was that my friend Cindy was like you're always hanging out with your roommates you need to like branch out spread your wings and like hang out with other people for me I didn't even like really pay attention to the comment I was like oh, okay sure whatever Cindy and um so apparently Jenny took offense to that because whenever that conversation happened it wasn't that day or like maybe even that week but a week later jenny just got so pissed so what happened is it was just all three of us roommates chilling so it was me on my bed samantha on her bed and jenny on her bed and kind of um 
I guess, yeah, just a, like a typical night. And then Jenny gets her like towel and like gets up to go shower. And um, it was just really quiet. Like I don't, I didn't, there was nothing like said. Like nobody was talking, nobody was doing anything. We were just kind of on our own, on our laptops. Nothing had happened that day. So Jenny gets her towel, goes to the shower, and the shower is like literally right across the hall, like from our door. So you like walk straight into the shower. So she, then she comes back 30 seconds after she grabs her stuff. She walks in and I guess she forgot something. She walks in and she tells both Samantha and I, like she tells both of us, if you guys weren't my roommate, is this what she said? If you guys weren't my roommates, I wouldn't be friends with you guys at all. Or like, I wouldn't talk to you guys. Or something very similar to that. And she walks away and I'm thinking it's like a prank or something. And I'm kind of looking at my other roommate like, um, this is really funny, right? And we're just like laughing. I literally fell on the floor laughing because I was like, that was way too like dramatic to be real. But sure enough, it was, and when I tell you that disaster struck after that, like, it, that was, man, rest in peace to our friendship because that was it. Like, after that moment, there was just no connecting with her at all. So, she came back from the shower and didn't say a word to us, and I don't even know where to start on the drum line, I actually have to think about how I'm going to explain what happened after that situation. So, I'm probably going to have to continue in another video just so it's not like so long, but I might just combine it, but oh my god, it's just, it's just a lot, but um, okay, then I'll be right back, <laughs> bye.